Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're not subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating um, augmented reality globe. So pretty much when we start your iPhone, you're going to see this globe hover in front of you and it's going to stay there. You're going to be able to go closer as you can see I'm doing here or farther away. Um, you're going to be able to walk it around it and see the different place on the globe, change the perspective. So it's really cool, very simple application to do. Uh, just some minimal details you're going to need it. You're going to need um, Xcode 9. I'm using Beta 3 on this case here. You are going to need as well to have an Apple Develop account because you're going to have to run this program, this software on your iPhone. It doesn't work on the simulator because it has to use the camera and also is very, very calculate intensive. So that's what you need. You need the Apple Develop account and the new Xcode. So without any other ado, let's go ahead and start build this augmented reality app. Okay, so I have Xcode open here and we're gonna create a new project. And we're gonna use the Argumented Reality app that Apple gave to us. So here in iOS, Argumented Reality app, then just click next and I'll call this globe. Then you have to enter all your other details, your identifier. And we're gonna select same kit for this specific project. And let's hit next. Then Xcode's gonna ask us where we wanna save. So just save here with my other argumented reality projects. And now let's go ahead and see what Xcode created for us. So let's go and jump, let's leave the, um, the controller to the end. The app delegate is normal. There is nothing new here. So don't worry about the app delegate. And on the storyboard, you'll see that uh, we have a view controller that has, and if we go here, um, so we get um, a view controller with the view controller, and it has this. AR SCN view. So AR, so it this is a view that inherit from the SynKit view that then gets inherited for the augmented reality. And so let's go here now on the view controller, see what's happening there. Um, so let's start from the view that loads. So on the view did load, we're just gonna set the view to self. And we're gonna set the statistics for true. So that's just to show some details for us, frames per second, time information. Then we're gonna create a new scene. And this scene is created from this SCN. That is a, a 3D object. And if you follow the path, see here say R dot. SCN assets. Uh, this is this folder here. And then inside this folder, we have the shift.scn. And if we look here, that's just the default spaceship that Apple put on the project and its texture. So this texture get uh, wrapped around and give these colors here on the spaceship. So let's go back to the view controller. Then so we create this scene with this 3D object and we assign the scene to our scene view. So what else happens here? So on view will appear, we start the word tracking configuration. And then what it does, this does is it tracks the word. Uh, so it tracks what the camera is seeing and find the planes and find anchor points and everything that we need. And so we start in this as configuration. We're just going to use the default values. 
And what we're going to do is say to the same view to run that configuration. Uh, what else? Um, view will disappear. What we're doing, we just um, pause the session just because um, there is no reason to keep doing all the calculations that we're doing on the background. And here is just some delegate fun functions from the ARSCNV delegate. We're not going to be using this. Actually, this project it looks pretty cool, but it is very simple to do. So let's go ahead and run this project and just see what we get from Apple by default when we just start an application as a AR kit. So I have my phone here and uh, we're going to go and see what it shows. So as you can see, the first thing we have to do is allow the application to use our camera because there is no point in make a make reality application without camera. So we're just going to go say yes. And as you can see, there is this spaceship just in front of me. And as I move around, it should stay in place. Of course, it's not perfect yet. It's still in beta, but you can see it works quite nicely. So okay, let's go ahead and stop this and create our goal. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is see how here we create a scene with this 3D object. Well, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a scene. I'm going to create an empty scene. So we don't need to unwrap anymore because we're not referencing anything. So that's going to definitely work. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function that returns the globe for us. So we do all the globe here separately. Let's say fun create globe and then I'll say it then I'll call the variable position and it's gonna be a SCN vector tree and don't worry if you don't know what's a vector tree I'm gonna tell you in a minute and we're gonna return a SCN node a SCN node is anything I want to paint to the scene. So I can create a node, I can put things inside this node, and then I can append to my scene. So I'm going to return something here that's going to be append to the scene, uh, and the globe is going to be append inside this node. So let's go ahead and create. I want to create a sphere because our globe is a sphere, and it's very easy to create. Um, primary shapes with the scene kit because it already gave it to us. So let's go ahead and create a sphere. So let sphere equals. And you can see that everything here starts with SCN, the essence for scene kit. And we're gonna create a sphere. So all we need to create a sphere is radius. This is in meters and we I create the one I showed you is a very light sphere. And because I'm going to create in front of myself here, we're going to create something smaller. Let's say 0 0.3 should be fine. The sphere is going to need the material. And remember here on our ship that we had this texture that wraps around our ship. What we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to create a texture that wraps around this sphere and give us the air. So let me show you, I have a, a JPEG here, and that's just the map, the globe, and that's what we're going to put around our sphere. So I'm going to move this JPEG here on the assets, and let it go there. Now, so now we have the air here. Going back to the view controller, uh, actually I'm going to leave this to the end, uh, the material. Just so you saw the sphere first, then we put the material, and then we see how the globe looks like. Okay? So, what we need to do now is create a node that I'll call uh, the sphere 
node equal SCN node. So that's what we're going to be returning. And then we have geometry. So the geometry is what's inside this node. Or in this case, it's very easy, it's a SCN sphere. So you can just go ahead and say the sphere here. And the sphere has the geometry of the SCN sphere. Now we need to put a position and then that's where this position here enters. So again, sphere node dot position. That's going to be uh, our position. And we're going to get there on how to create it in just a minute. And now we're going to go ahead and return our sphere node. So the sphere node is a SA node, that's what we're returning here. Now we need to create this. So to create this, we're going to have to finally create our position. So let's position equals is a SEN vector tree. And the vector tree is not giving any autocomplete here for it. But it is if we hold the option key and click here, we're going to see that is um, represent a three component vector. So there is the x, um, x, y, and z. There we need to put the values. And these values are in meters. So we're just going to uh, pass x, y, z. And so x is up and down. y is right and left. And z is how far it is. So I'm going to create right in front of me and let's say I'm going to create it. I'm going to create 0.3 meters. So I need to make this smaller. Let's make this 0.1. See what it will look like. So now we create the position. Now we can create our globe or uh, your globe. So at globe equals create globe at position. Now we have the globe. So we can append the globe to the scene. So we have this scene here, not the scene view, we have this scene that we created. We're gonna go scene dot root node dot add child node and we're gonna add globe. That's all we need to do to create our globe or sphere in this case in front of us at 0.3 meters far at with the 0.1 radius. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again. So okay, what's happening is this sphere is actually behind me because I use a positive value here and I want it to go far away from me on that direction. So I'm going to go and put minus 3 restart it. So now I got now we have this sphere right here in front of me. You can see like you can't really tell because I can't um it doesn't have shadow or anything, so you can't really tell. It looks like a circle. And because I'm very close here, it's very hard to find anchor points to stay in place. But you can see as more you use it, it better it gets. It's getting more anchor points and now it's staying right there. Okay, let's stop this again. And now let's add our air to that we put it here. So that's very simple as well. What we're going to do here is create a material to go around our sphere. So let material equals SCN material. And now everything starts with SCN. It's pretty easy to find start type SCN and outcome. It's going to show you. So now that we create this material, we have to say that we want to have this earth around it. So what we're going to do is say material dot diffuse dot contents. 
So the contains what's gonna be emitting, like what's gonna be the light that's gonna be coming out. So it's gonna have the colors of this earth. Of course, it's gonna wrap around and make uh, it be a sphere, not a plane. So then we're gonna go equals UI image. And we're gonna use the image we put there. So we have to find named. And then we just type that name r dot sc and assets slash r dot jpeg. Okay, so now that we have this material, we have to assign this to this view. The way we do this, we just call the the sphere dot materials and there there is many ways to do you can do like um first you can put zero like this or you can even go and say dot first material and that's gonna be equals our material there you go so that puts the earth JPEG around the globe and will make it look like a proper globe when we start the application. Let's go ahead and see what happens. So now we have the globe over here in front of us. And of course, as soon as we find more points, the globe will still stay still there. See, and we can go all the way around from the top, all the way to the bottom. And that's it. That's how you create a globe using argument reality and Xcode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave the thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna next, I think I'm gonna create some gesture to make the globe spin so we can swap right, swap left, and spin the globe. Um, we don't need the zone because it can already go very close whatever you want to see so let, let me know let me know what you think what else should we do here other than the spinning the spinning is going to definitely be the next thing and put in the comments what you think it should be after that okay i look forward from here for you guys and i have some codes down below from my course on udemy if you enjoyed it if you want to check it out just click there and see what I have for you, okay? See you guys later.